Good evenings and welcome pilots to another episode of Let's Play Free Space The Great War. Right, let's see if we can get Omega 1 and 2 and the Rosetta back to safety. We've got at least one more wave of Shaitans. And I think we can just fully go into protecting the Omegas. Enemy wing has just arrived! Omega-1, docking completed. Proceeding to jump node. Enemy wing has just arrived! Never mind. At least two more wings then. The, there it is. Um, I'm on it. Omega two docking. Operation ETC. Ninety seconds. I'm on it. Docking completed. Proceeding to jump node. I'm on it. All right, let's get into position. gonna go into a heavy combat we might need the shields a little bit more They're bumping into the Lucifer, apparently. Alright. All fighters engage. Space. 
Alright, let's take our time. Not that much time. Explain the missiles. Enemy wing has just arrived. One. And we are getting way too close. Sticking around for that. Oof. Congratulations. Your achievements have been noted and you are duly awarded the rank of Lieutenant Commander. You managed to get both transports to the Altair system. 
If the information at Altair 4 proves as valuable as the Vesudan refugees suspect, then the Terran and Vesudan people will owe you a great debt. Well done, pilot. The crew of the Rosetta sends their thanks. When the Lucifer jumped in, they all but gave up hope of survival. Your squadron was able to hold off the enemy, and that is most impressive. For this, you are awarded the Commendation Medal. Mmm, nice. So, that's the third one already. Shooting up the ranks nicely. Let's move on. There is little left for us. Little time. But much irony. We did discover they are not invulnerable. The destroyers that darkened our skies like a plague can be harmed. But we have no way to deliver the hurt. We have the knowledge, but not the means. And so this is our legacy. In subspace, they cannot use their shields. And into subspace, they can be tracked. We have successfully extracted the records from Altair 4. They have been partially deciphered and are being moved back to Terran space. Omega Transports will once again be handling the movement of the scientists and the records. Unfortunately, the Altair system is still controlled by the Hammer of Light. One of their flagships, the Anvil, is stationed here and has gotten word of our presence in this system. It is currently blocking the vector to the subspace node. Mm -hmm. The Anvil carries with it a powerful contingent of Vesudan fighters. Intelligence reports two squadrons, one of advanced Toth space superiority fighters and one of Horus interceptors. These fighters have defended the Anvil well. Intelligence has also detected the presence of a third wing of Vesudan bombers in the system. They will undoubtedly try to attack our fleeing transports. Your strike force will once again consist of Alpha, Beta, and Gamma wings. Gamma will provide escort for Alpha while Alpha attacks the anvil. Beta will ensure the safety of the transports and maintain our fighter superiority. The anvil must be destroyed. We are equipping Alpha with Harbinger bombs. These bombs require exact placement and careful maneuvering, but will do massive damage to the anvil. Beta and Gamma must ensure that the Harbingers reach their target. Mm. Our primary goal, however, is to ensure that Omega-1 and Omega-2 reach the jump node. Destroying the anvil is the best way to ensure that this goal is accomplished. This mission is of grave importance. Do not fail, pilot. Good luck. That means we get the fancy new ships. Yes. Heavy bombers. Not very fast. Not very maneuverable. Heavy armor. Uh, five gun mounts, three missile banks. What weapons do we have equipped? Alright, so we have Prometheus's, we have Flails, which is fine, I guess. We are equipped with two Harbingers, five Synaptics, and twelve Hornets. I mean, I'm half tempted to get one of those disruptor missiles, uh, is it? Uh, that would be more useful if we were committing against more than one heavy ship. Which I don't think will be the case here. Uh, I could do double Prometheus. But... Probably not necessary. Let's commit. Enemy wing has just arrived.
see if these harbinger bombs are indeed as good as they claim they are. The rest of the pack. I mean, is a big ship. Hopefully, the fighters can keep. rely on my escorts. New bandits in the area. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. All right, let's see if they can enemies fight us busy well done waiting for them to hit us because I kind of want to focus on dealing damage to the uh, enemy here right, they're already engaging good and let's switch over back to the harbinger Wish I could join in there, but I am flying a heavy bomber. Probably best if I don't involve myself too much. What's going on? Enemy wing just arrived. Am I not gonna get a? There we go. Boys, give me some cover. 
Where's my fighter cover? of the Omega one is regrettable but uh, all right um all fighters protect potentially we could have handled We're that jumping out now sir That's everything. Let's go. Because of your consistent sense of duty and obvious skill as a leader, you have been promoted to the rank of commander. At least we were able to save one of the transports. We lost half the data, but the half you retrieved just might be enough. In ordinary circumstances, we'd reprimand you, pilot. But in these circumstances, we have no choice but to put you back into battle. The final conflict looms. All our forces are gathering for a last counter-strike. It is impressive that you managed to destroy a primary flagship of the Hammer of Light. Perhaps this will put an end to their resistance. Fighting the Hammer of Light has been a great strain on the terran Vasudan Alliance. You know what? I'm not satisfied. I'm gonna replay this mission, but I will do so next time. Thank you for watching, and if you like my content, please rate, comment, and subscribe.